So you've got the omentum. So this is the omentum myus with Puri's superficialis or lamina externa, which runs cranially and ends at the greater curvature of the stomach. And then Puri's profundus or lamina interna, which extends ventrally, turns caudally and becomes the superficialis. And then we've got omentum minus, which is the ligamentum hepatogastricum, which is between the liver and the stomach. And then the ligamentum hepatoduodenale, which is between the liver and the duodenum. So we've got the intestinum tenui, starting with the duodenum, which is situated dorsally in the right half of the abdominal cavity, from the top pylorus to the jejunum. So starting off, you've got the pars cranialis duodeni, with the flexura duodeni cranialis, and the ansa sigmoidea, which is S-shaped and absent in the carnivore. Next you have pars descendens, which runs caudally to the right kidney and forms a loop with the flexura duodeni caudalis. Next up you've got the pars ascendens, which runs cranially by means of the flexura duodeno jejunalis, with the ligamentum hepatoduodenale with the pars cranialis duodenum and visceral surface of the liver. Next up is the jejunum, which is the second and longest part of the small intestine. It begins at the flexura duodeno jejunalis. Um, it has many loops, um, and the mesojejunum, which fixes these loops of the jejunum. Next up is the ileum which is a straight and short third part of the intestine. It's got the ostium iliale into the cecum and the plica iliocecalis. Next up is the large intestine or the intestinium crassum, um, which is the cecum, colon and rectum. So starting off with the cecum, it's the dilated first blind part of the large intestine. Um, in carnivores, equines and ruminants, it's on the right side, but in pigs, it's on the left side. So you've got plica iliocecalis and plica seca iliaca. Um, then the colon, so you've got the ascending colon. And um, this is the pig, so you've got um, ansa spiralis coli with the giri centripetalis, the flexura centralis, and then the giri centrifugalis going up in the middle. Um, and then you've got the transverse colon and the descending colon. Um, in horses, ruminants and pigs, the ascending colon is elongated and modified. Then you've got the rectum, which has the ampulla recti, which is absent in sheep, goats and cats, and the mesorectum, and the canalis analis, and the anus. So we've got the intestinum crassum of ruminants, which is slightly different. So starting with the cecum, it's simple with a smooth wall. Then you've got the colon ascendens, has three parts. The ansa proximalis has gyrus ventralis, medius and dorsalis and then the ansa spiralis has the giri centripetalis flexura centralis and then the giri centrifugalis ending in the ansa distalis okay. so we've got the descending colon with the mesocolon descendants um, and it's got some loops which are known as the colon sigmoidium, which then continues into the rectum.